my channel surprise comics this is matt i have a brand new haul for you today so let's just jump right into it uh quick apologies for you know i didn't get a video up last week just got busy you know but i try to get one up a week so this one might go a little long so i apologize but i got some great stuff so hopefully you'll um stay tuned so starting off we got the hastings sketch variant for batman rebirth or batman number one or dc universe rebirth um, I guess this was a more common one, the, the actual color one I was able to get a copy of. Uh, my dad lives in the town with the hay scenes and so he ran over and picked these up for me. So I actually ended up with two copies of it. But none of the other, the other one, um, this you know, Gotham City Siren, Silent Kirkham Art. Lots of different variants for this one. They're all store exclusives, none of their ratio variants. So it makes it a little more difficult to get them if you don't live in the right areas. Um, but I'm excited to have it. Uh, my local stores usually do pretty good sales on 4th of July. They have dollar book sales. That's how I pick up a lot of the series I collect. I'll pick up back issues of them. So I have to pay full price as they go. And then like, if there's any keys or anything left over, I don't have to pick those up too. One of the books I got, I got a copy of Vision Number 5. This one's a pretty hot book right now. Um, I, I'm not even really sure why. I think there's like a robot dog or something. Is what somebody told me. I didn't even find it on, um, you know, it's not in the listings on eBay why it's important, but, you know, people were asking $30, $40 for it. I think it's not going for that much, but, you know, it's definitely a hot book. I also got a copy of Lois and Clark number eight. This is when um, John Kent first wears the Superboy suit. Um, this is another one, not a, um, it's a pretty hot book. I couldn't find it right when it first came out, and then it looks like what had happened is someone they had emptied out some bins of people who um, never picked up their holds, and so this got put back on the shelf right before I got there. I also got a copy of number one. Both these only cost me a dollar each. Super excited about these. I'll go through these real quick. These are all books I got for a dollar. I got a lot more than this, but these are just kind of like the highlights. Got another copy of Batman 154, the first appearance of Beta, for those of you who are Walking Dead fans. Batman 43, first appearance of Bloom. I got the Klaus, or Claws number one, local comic book day variant, $4. The store I went to as a store exclusive, the Samurai Comics exclusive of Four Kids Walking to the Bank, $1. Um, Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade, like $7 cover price I got for a buck. Second print of Batman Superman number 32. And um, that's the first appearance of the new Superman. Um, Harley Quinn number 26, first cameo appearance of Red Tool. And then I got this one, Kanan number 6. I think this is the first comic appearance of all the characters from Rebels besides Kanan. So Ezra and, you know, all the rest up there. So I love watching Rebels, great series. So that was two different comic book shops. I actually got a lot more than that, but those are just kind of like the highlights. Moving on. Uh, one comic book shop, all of a sudden just showed up with these. This is um, Edge of Spider-Verse number two. This is like a fifth printing or a variant, depending on how you do it. It's a comic bug. I actually bought these lab out a year ago on um, eBay and paid a pretty hefty price for them. You know, nothing extremely expensive, but you know, for the set of the, you know, I got this one and the, the sketch cover. Um, you know, it was like, I think 45 for both or maybe even a little bit more. I got them graded. They came back 9 8 and looked great. And then I walked into the shop and he had half price on his variants. This cost me $5 and this one was three fifty, which is less than the, even the cover price on it. So these are store exclusive for Comic Bug, but I got him. I guess he's probably worked out some sort of deal. Or the exchange store, store exclusives with that. Um, this is a pretty big book for me. It, it wasn't the price I wanted or the condition I wanted, but I kind of got tired of looking for it. The store was having a sale on 4th of July, so I paid a little more than I wanted to pay for it. But it's Suicide, num Suicide Squad number six. This is the part of the origin of Harley Quinn, and that will complete my Suicide Squad run. So I have all the. Um, the new 52 Suicide Squad 1 through or 0 through 30 now, so that's pretty exciting for me. 
Um, I saw this one in, I think it was Magneto was right, showed this book. This is the first appearance of Emperor Joker, who's rumored to be part of the Suicide Squad movie. Don't know if that's true or not. But, you know, it was like the day after I saw the video, and then I was um, just going through some bins at a antique mall, and I found that for two bucks, so I went ahead and snatched it up. I also found this one for two dollars. This is a Daredevil SK Energy variant, or custom edition. Don't know a whole lot about it. Picked it up for two bucks. It seems to be in that, you know, ten to fifteen dollar range online, so I thought, why not? Um, this is a little bit of a hot book right now. This is Superboy number 19. This is the secret origins of, and if this is a fold out page, it says here, I'm going to pop it open for you guys. I saw this one on Archangel's video. So if we do the unfold, watch me ruin the comic. The son of Lois and Superman. So this is the Jonathan Kent Superboy that we're seeing in the DC Re Rebirth. This is his actual first appearance. And so this book's picked up a little bit. He, it seems like every week we find a new way of having this character's first appearance. Um, but, you know... Well, it didn't cost me much. I looked through the back issues. I found three different copies. I think I paid two bucks each for them, so definitely not complaining. Again, it goes between ten and twenty dollars a pound a day. Let me get those ones out of the way. Moving right along. Got Green Lantern number one. This is a recalled edition. You see this little teardrop ink spots right there? That's, um, issue was recalled, so it's a little bit harder to find than the regular cover. Doesn't go for a whole lot still, but, um, you know, it's just something that's there. People like to collect mistakes. Pick this up for $4. This is uh, the first appearance of Quake. It's a 10 to 15, good day, maybe $20 book. Pick this one up for two dollars. Ultimate Spider-Man number one, the sketch cover. Um, you know, another fifteen to twenty dollar book. And I'm still not even hundred percent sure what this is. This is Amazing Spider-Man number one. Um, you're hired. And I, I found it on eBay. It seemed to be a ten to fifteen dollar book, but it's like from 2011, which they have a, You know, so I'll have to do a little more research about it. If you guys know about it, go ahead and put a comment. That'd be appreciated. Another two dollar find. Um, Flashpoint. I'm slowly putting together that run. A really cool cover there. I think I already have the other variant for that. Um, there's another book that's been on my radar for a while. Finally happened across it. This is Swamp Thing 49. It's the first cameo appearance of Dark Justice. In Detective Comics number 27. This is a big annual or big um anniversary has a bunch of little short stories in it and this book is a book to watch potentially because um, there's a section in here written by Scott Snyder and it shows Batman working in the Batcave and in the background there's this weird yellow suit in one of the bat you know the Batman cases that he keeps all his suits in there's this weird yellow suit no one really knew whose suit it was or what it's from um, if you've read Batman Rebirth number one, we see whose yellow suit that is, and it's actually Duke Thomas's yellow suit. So this is definitely, um, it could be seen as almost like a first appearance of that suit or that character. So, I don't know, maybe it will be something, maybe not. Picked it up for just a couple bucks. It's an $8 cover price book just to begin with, just to get it for two bucks. It wasn't bad, but, you know, that's just a little info there. Pick this one up for a couple bucks. This is Marvel Zombies number one. This is the fourth printing, I believe. Uh, all the different printings have different homages or cover swipes. I don't know if it's a cover, I guess it's a cover swipe would be the right one more than an homage. Uh, this one's a pulp. Um, picked these up the other day. I got Civil War number two. 
Um, this is the Michael Turner variant. I got that for five bucks, and I got Civil War number one for eight bucks. The reason I paid, the reason I paid my comics a little cheaper than that, but I did recently found numbers three through seven for two bucks a piece. So I'm definitely willing to pay just to finish that off. I will still be looking for number two regular cover to have the complete set of the regular covers, but I'll take that as a placeholder in the meantime. Um, but that's definitely one of the books on my radar now, more so than ever. And then I picked up another copy of X-23 Marvel Next, and actually it's not another copy. It replaces one I traded away, the last one I got, so I'm glad to have it back in my, um, my collection. I saw this guy have it up on his wall in a shop this week for $40. Doesn't go anywhere near that online, but it does has been rising pretty steadily. Um, I think all the major keys of X-23 have started going through the roof. And, you know, as, you know, the high-end books go up, it makes these lower-end books, you know, it raises the water for all of them. And so people who before weren't paying more than five bucks for this book, all of a sudden are willing to pay 15 to $20 for it because, you know, they can't get the other ones anymore. So I'm going to get all the way. Next book I'm going to show you, I've shown a couple times recently, but this book just keeps buying me. I found another set of Thor 337. 338, 339, and 340. I found those all together as a set for $10. So not quite as good as a dollar I paid for three of the four last time. But it definitely would take the set for 10. And this one's actually, the some of the other ones are a little rough, but the 337 is actually a pretty nice looking book. So super excited to get that. These are other books I got at that same shop. There's actually a shop is a record store that sold, had a little bit of stash of comics. Got Captain Marvel number one for two bucks. Outcast number two for two bucks. Inhuman number one, I think I paid three for that one. It's a really sharp copy of Star Wars number one. This is a loot crate variant. There's like so many of them, I'm not even sure why I got that one. But then it was only three dollars, so. That's probably why I got it. Uh, Walking Dead number 50. They had like a bunch of Walking Deads and all of them were kind of really overpriced. But then they had number 50. It's a cool wrapper on cover. And they only charged $3 for it. So I was all over that. And pick that up to add it to my collection. Alright, that's a few left books left over. If you saw a break right there, that's just because my camera ran out of storage space. So I had to, you know, reshoot a few of the last books. So, um... Where we are at, so Spectra number 62. This is the first appearance of Michael Holt as Mr. Terrific. Um, if you watched Arrow last season, he was one of the new characters, just as Michael Holt. We saw a little bit of a couple Easter eggs about his powers coming up, but you know, hopefully next season we can see more of him. But this is the last issue, it's pretty hard to find. I picked this up for a buck twenty-five. I also got a copy of Fantastic Four number 21. This is the first appearance of the Marvel Zombies. Um, you know, much else they got for $2. This book I picked up for $3. It's a pretty nice copy of Batman 358. This is the first full appearance of Killer Croc. And this book has really taken off. It's one of those books that I I've always kind of look for, but... Um, you know, I'm mostly looking for 357, and I found this one. And if I see it cheap, I pick it up. I didn't even bother looking it up when I looked, found it. And it goes for quite a bit. You know, there's people. The price on this has really skyrocketed, especially for higher grade copies of it. So not the easiest book to find, super high grade. You know, along the side, it's easy to get the color breaks with the black cover. Been uh, doing a lot of, you know. I was looking for early New 52 Batman, anything with early quarter vowels, um, early talons, things like that. This is number four. This is the first appearance of the quarter vowels um, on a cameo on the last page. This is the third printing. The um, multiple printed copies of this one are really tough books to find. Um, I have another one. I think it's also a third printing, but I'll have to double check that. But I'm pretty cheap. I paid a pretty cheap price for it. I think it's three or four dollars, so I definitely wasn't going to pass it up. Um, going along with that, I got a 
Batman number five. This is the combo pack. And, you know, a lot of people get the combo packs. My biggest recommendation, if you ever find combo packs out in the wild, if they're not, if they're still in their poly bags, take them out as soon as possible. Almost every comic I get that I've taken out, the, taken out of the poly bag always has damage caused by the poly bag. Either you'll get some uh, breaks on the side or you'll get these like faint lines going down the middle where the seams on the bags were. And it's just never worked out well for me. I've had a, I had a couple I took out recently that were like the bag had disintegrated. Um, and it was just like a mess. And the, I, I pressed them and they, even those faint lines wouldn't press out. It was pretty, it was pretty bad. So definitely don't leave them in the poly bag. Um, also got a copy of Batman number seven. This is the first full appearance of Parker Row, or the first appearance. It depends. There's um in Batman number one, there is a panel where they show a girl in the background who is supposedly Harper Row, and so that counts as her first cameo. But this is like the first full appearance, and even this is almost a cameo. She's on it for a whole lot. Um, I think in issue number twelve. They give the other her perspective of the story from number seven, which is a cool issue, and that really is like the first full appearance in my mind of Harper Row. Harper Row picked up a lot of um, was a very big focus of Batman and Robin Eternal. Um, she's one of the main characters in that book, but at the end of that series, it kind of wrote her off a little bit, and you know she's quitting superheroing, going back to school, and so we may not see her around very much or at all for a long time coming. So. Um, if that was one of the characters you like, it's too bad. It is, as far as value for Harper Row books, probably definitely not a good sign. Um, then my last pickup, this is the same, I got this at the same shop I saw you about that had the um, X-23 Target or Marvel Next or whatever it was for $40. They had this book in there, Batman 635, and I paid $3 for that book. And this is the second time in like the last six months I found this book. For three dollars super excited couldn't believe it um, and the thing about this one is it's a really nice copy um, there's no color breaks there's some very small ticks on it um, there's actually multiples but none of nothing like serious seriously bad and you know I've sent books in this like this to get graded that have come back nine eights I've also sent ones nicer than this that came back nine fours but I would put my money on this book being, in, being anywhere between 9.4 and 9.8 just depending on the grader and the day and how much they count against each of those little tiny ticks that are on there but I couldn't believe it I found it for so cheap you know they say lightning doesn't strike twice but it looked like it you know I definitely got two huge stealth buys on the same book in a pretty short amount of time so I was super excited to find this at that price um, I already have a copy, my other copy, right here I have graded, it's a 9.6. And then I have another copy that's probably a 9.2. Um, that I probably will get pressed and graded. This one's definitely going to the grader because if it can come back a 9.8, it'll replace this one. But super excited to get another copy of that. It's one of my favorite books. You know, it's one of those like, you should be one of those collections and they get these like super key books and they just keep getting copy after copy and you don't let them go. Um, I'm not sure if that's how it's going to be for this one, this, but uh, it's definitely crossed my mind just to get as many of this book as I want, I can, and um, hold on to them. But we'll see. You know, hopefully they'll do this storyline for the next solo Batman movie because it's one of my favorite storylines in all of comics. I think it translates very well to film, and you know the animated version of this is excellent. So I definitely recommend that to anyone. But well, I can ramble all day long about um, Red Hood, but I won't bore you with that. So that's my haul. Thanks for watching. Um, almost up to 500 subscribers. Super excited about that. Um, you know, again, I apologize. I haven't been as involved in the community as I'd like to be. You know, I still watch tons of videos. I'm just not commenting. You know, there's I guess there's a huge um, controversy a couple weeks ago, and I, you know, I, like. I'm not sure if I'm just not following those people anymore or what, but I didn't even hear anything about it. And, you know, hopefully we won't have any drama. I just want to come on and show my books and show what I have and tell my stories and hopefully you enjoy. 
And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah!